Brooks. Welcome to another segment of On the Mat. Guru Billy Brown here. Uh, tonight we're bringing you a very short, very uh, impromptu uh, session here. Um, very impromptu. As you can see, I haven't even shaved for this video session. Uh, actually, it's late at night here at the PMATS headquarters. We just got done with a very strenuous ProFit uh, workout. And I, my adrenaline was up and I said, you know what? Grab the video camera. So here it is. Um, tonight, uh, we're going to, uh, lately I've been getting lots of questions about adding speed to your uh, weaponry, adding speed to your single stick, to your double stick, to your dagger, to your sword, uh, etc. Uh, so tonight we're going to bring you uh, just some, some pointers, not really drills per se, this is going to be a, something you could do solo, um, but just some pointers to add speed and focus to your strikes. Hope you enjoy. Okay guys, uh, first, uh, whenever I Whenever I swing uh, the stick, whenever we work focus, speed, power, uh, I really like to wrap uh, my wrist. I didn't do this for many years. Uh, I hit pads uh, with no, no, no wrist protection, no gloves for many years. And now because of that, I have, uh, uh, I have fractured knuckles. I have uh, boxer fractures all through my hands. And, uh, and so it's better to be safe than sorry. I know when we're young, we, uh, we do things that, he, that the, older, <laughs> the older generation tells us not to do, and we're like, oh, we, we don't need to listen to you. But, but when we're becoming the older generation, we're going, wow, I should have listened. So wrap your hands uh, whenever you, you're going to hit for power especially, but also for speed too, and really, really work in the angle of the wrist. Um, okay, uh, we're going to start out with the rattan, but I highly recommend one of the things for building speed is that you learn to speed, uh, to learn to uh, to to uh, swing a heavier stick. Um, so a couple options. Um, I always go with a very dense piece of rattan for my normal training. This one's been with me for a long time. Underneath it, it uh, uh, you, you can see the battle wounds of it. Uh, I have a lot of electric tape on it. Uh, pretty soon, I'm sure uh, the electric tape will be out to here. It's going to look like a, a small baseball bat. Um, another thing that I like to use, this is something that I built uh, many years ago in my grandfather's shop in, in uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, it's a big piece of, of uh, rebar. It's about four pounds. Um, I drill through a wooden dowel, put the wooden dowel on it, and I train with this thing every week. I have a pair of them. So when we work double stick drills, I really train. And it really, uh, once you do a five minute, ten minute session with this, uh, the rattan will, will uh, you'll be lightning quick with it. Um, so really, Anything, a lot of times the students come in and they see me working out with a hammer and they're like, what is Mr. Brown doing? Um, that's what I'm doing. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm working out with, uh, with objects for one that I may find in the environment if I ever have to use this in a self-defense situation. But for two, I'm using those objects as a training aid. A hammer is heavy. Um, I have all different shapes of hammers. Uh, I have, the, I have the, 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 big, the bigger hammers that weigh five, seven, eight pounds that I use sometimes. So, um, so that's some options. Train with something a little heavier than what you normally use or what you spar with. Okay, guys, let's start this off. Here's some uh, good uh, solo pointers for you here. Um, in the Filipino martial arts, we like to call this an angle one, and then we call this the angle two. So you have angle one. See, you have the angle two. Um, those two angles are perfect. Uh, angles, especially as beginner, intermediate, and even myself, when I really warm up the stick, I, uh, I stick to those angles, and uh, they're really good for building speed. So, at first, I just want you starting off uh, uh, in, in, in your stance, and I just want you working just the motion, just warming up the stick. We're getting repetition, okay? And then slowly, we speed it up, and then from here, what I want you to do, I want you to put this hand on the back of the stick, uh, the weapon bearing uh, hand. You see? Now what I'm gonna do, this hand is gonna throw the stick into the shot. And on the way back, it does the same thing. So it goes one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. That's a very, very good drill. Do rounds of that, your arm and forearms will be burning. Give it a shot. Okay guys, uh, the next uh, technique that I like to do uh, for building speed, and it's a great technique for power. Uh, when, I, when I do a lot of stick sparring, whether it be padded stick or when we uh, put on the boxing gloves and the armor and we do full contact stick fighting, uh, this is still my favorite shot to, uh, uh, to, to land on people. It's very fast, very powerful. 
Um, the, the most common Filipino term for this is called a redondo, uh, which means round or circular motion, circular strike. Um, it's usually done from the closed stance, whereas this is open stance. And this is your closed stance, whether that be with a blunt weapon or edged weapon. Um, but it can actually be done from the open stance too, and, uh, and I'll show you that. Um, so from here, what I want you to do is just close the stance. Okay? I'm going to show you at a slight angle from here. And the motion just goes out, and I make a circular motion, and I come right back to the stance. So my body just kind of shifts in a circular motion. Now, this is good for building speed because it has a great whip to it. And you can really uh, add speed and power to the shot. Uh, shot. So I'm going to do a few of these for you. The Redondo. Okay, uh, then I'm, I'm going to show you one more uh, stick pattern, I guess. Uh, swinging pattern. Uh, and then we're going to put some of these together and I'm going to show you how uh, you can really work on speed. Uh, in your solo training. Then we're going to do mixed weapons with it. Uh, we're going to go uh, weighted, uh, weighted rebar. We're going to go sword. Uh, we're going to go longer stick. Uh, we're going to go uh, knife or dagger. And then I'm, at the end here, I'm going to talk to you about actually some carry knives and how to how to work some live blade sp uh, speed drills. Okay, the next one we're going to talk about, uh, commonly called the florethi. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do this, and I'm going to do it very, very slow here. Basically, it makes two circles and hit, hits, or actually like a circle and a half, I guess. The circle, the first circle is kind of to the outside line, and then the second one kind of hits, and it's almost like the redondo uh, uh, strike here. So it goes one, two, and then I'm back to the stance. See? Then from here, I put in the redondo, and then I do my angle two strike to really get out. So that's my first pattern. So I go one, two, So that's the first pattern. So slowly, you have the floretti, you have the double redondo, and then there's that power shot <clears throat> coming back. One more time. Okay, um, once you start with these basic, uh, uh, I guess, uh, stick patterns, we'll call them, uh, for the sake of this, this uh, teaching video. Um, I want you to start changing the weapons. Uh, the first one uh, that I'm going to show you here is a, this was a custom 33 inch uh, stick. Um, uh, this is great. This is one of my training sticks. I don't stick spar with it, uh, but it's a great uh, training stick. It's dense and heavy and it's a little longer so you have a little more radius uh, to it and, uh, and uh, it really helps you with your speed. So you, could, you should do the same, uh, the same patterns with this weapon. Now, this goes back to, to, to wrapping your hands, wrapping your wrist. Once you start changing the weight of these weapons, it's obviously going to start putting more stress on your joints and ligaments. So it's important to start keeping that in mind. You know, we, we want to train safety because we want to train for the rest of our lives. Okay? So, from here, uh, the same drills for ready. Okay, next uh, we need to go to uh, changing up the weapons again. Uh, Kali, uh, Filipino martial arts, uh, we use the term Kali here. Uh, Kali is an ancient battlefield art, um, and it's, a, it's, it's essentially a bladed art. So, although we're probably not going to be carrying <laughs> machetes uh, on our waist when, we, when, we, uh, uh, when we're walking around out there in the, in the world, um, we do train with the sword here. We train for it for historical purposes, but also the blade doesn't lie. The blade will teach you things the stick that you can neglect with the stick. Um, now, once you learn the blade, obviously other weapons uh, can be universal to those motions, those training methods. But, uh, but you know, I carry three knives on me at all times. Um, and I, we stress here that if you're 18 and over uh, and you have proper training, we stress here that you carry a bladed weapon. Um, and that's another video. We'll, we'll talk more about that. Um, this is a, I, this is, I've been making wooden swords and wooden uh, daggers for about, uh, for about 15 years now. So this is one of them that's been with me for a long time. Uh, it, it, it's heavy. It's heavier. 
um, and, uh, and I like to train them with it. So same drill, she begin with the sword. Okay, next, obviously, well, once we leave the wood uh, blades, we move on to the metal. Uh, this is a training uh, blade. It's made out of, a, out of aluminum. Uh, it's long, nice and heavy, great for building speed. Same drill should be done with it. Okay, now going down in size, once we build up the weight, uh, we also need to train with something more like we carry, or something more that will be in our environment. Um, this is the length that we usually start students with, and then we get smaller from there. So, same drills. Now, try to keep, try to track the middle, because the knife is very elusive and you'll lose it. But I want you training for speed, getting complete cuts, and uh, pulling through with the uh, shots. Okay, uh, doing those drills uh, every week, uh, you're, you'll get a great warm form, wrist, uh, hand workout. Uh, you'll also develop more focus, uh, more speed, which will lead to more power in your shots. Now obviously this isn't a power uh, video, those will be coming soon, uh, but speed and focus lead into power, keep that in mind. Um, the next area I want to talk about is, is uh, training speed uh, with your, the weapons that you carry. Now, this isn't my, uh, my uh, tactical knife fighting uh, program uh, that, we're, that we're talking about right now. But, so I'm not going to talk about carry positions. I'm not going to talk about clearing garments to get to it, etc. But that's there, and you have to, that has to be just as fast as the strikes. Okay? So when you clear the garment and you index the knife, you should be able to work these same drills. With the blade that you carry. This is more of the size that you're going to be carrying. This is just one of my many, many knives that I grabbed just to show you this. Uh, you have to learn to index it and to put the, the, the follow through, to put the speed, to put the shot through it. You should be practicing that a lot. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, very, uh, very quick, uh, impromptu, uh, on the mat uh, session for you guys. Um, I just, that was just me answering a question uh, to, that, that I've been getting a lot from the students. Uh, plus, I like to keep uh, uh, information out there for you guys. I know a lot of you enjoy and watch our videos a lot, and we thank you all for that. Uh, we have a lot of big projects, uh, some that are, that are going to be free to the public, uh, uh, others that you're going to have to purchase the subscription to on the mat. Um, but uh, we have a lot of good projects coming up for you, um, and I thank you all for, uh, for uh, tuning in. Until next time, this is Guru Billy Brown. I'll see you on the mat.